Hey everyone, it's Michelle here or Mish Crafts and today I will be showing you guys how I made this squishy bento box So if you guys want to know then keep on watching this vlog Hello everyone! For this part of this video, I'm going to show you a tour of the squishy bento box that I made in this vlog. And just a little disclaimer, the lighting might be a little off because 
it's quite sunny outside so i hope you guys can bear with me and let's just get started here i have this s'mores granola bar that i made it was supposed to fit in the bento box but it didn't because of its packaging so i might have to make another one here's what the packaging looks like to be honest i think it looks like the actual granola bars that you would find at a supermarket or something like that it's just this s'mores granola bar with chocolate at the bottom and marshmallow drizzle at the top along with some chocolate sprinkles to achieve this granola ish texture i just cut up a bunch of scrap foam pieces and mix it all with some paint and applied it onto a piece of foam by the way this packaging is resealable but this took me 20 minutes to get the granola bar in its packaging so i'm not gonna take it out sorry guys anyways now let's get into the exciting part and take a look in this bento box this whole bento box took me three to four days straight to make and i think it turned out really nice like all the colors together it's so cool i would literally eat this but i don't usually pack this much for lunch in total there are three compartments one is for the main meal one is for veggies and one is for fruits so i'm just gonna start from here and end up in the fruits compartment in the larger section this is where the sandwiches belong i made these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and they just fit together like a whole sandwich when you cut them up it looks like triangles this one is my favorite slice because like just look at it it's so airy it's crazy i don't know how i got it this airy but it's my favorite i like this one this one's all right i mean it's still squishy but you know not as airy as this one now moving on to the veggies compartment i made some baby carrots with cherry tomatoes so here are the carrots they kind of look like cheeto puffs but you know it's it's baby carrots i think i made a total of five of these I'm not entirely sure they're quite squishy So yeah, I made five of these baby carrots and I made four cherry tomatoes. So they just look like these. And last but not least, this is the fruit compartment and it contains blueberries and strawberries. Here's what these strawberries look like. They actually come together as a whole strawberry, but if you take them apart, you can see the inside. that sound though and then i made loads of blueberries i think i made like 12 or maybe more than 12 honestly here's what they look like and i had to individually cut and paint them so they're quite slow rising as well of course i'm not gonna squish all of them because there's too many there are those blueberries That is basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this long long vlog video and if you guys want more vlog videos don't forget to comment suggestions down below and hopefully i'll be sure to make some for you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye my camera stand. Gotta love my DIY camera stand.